So this time we have a 9 elements UHF Yagi designed for the frequency 430 to 440 MHz with a 10 MHz bandwidth. The antenna is designed and simulated using 4 NEC2 antenna modeling software. So let's check the antenna configuration and the frequency response of this antenna using my antenna analyzer. So this is an end mount Yagi antenna. We have the mounting bracket at the back. I put up the elements with their corresponding numbers on the elements and on the boom. So I'm going to upload the predicted antenna pattern of this, of this Yagi antenna on my YouTube and on my website. We have a Gamma Match Yagi. We have an SO239 connector attached to the uh, pit point mounting bracket connected to the boom. So everything is removable for safekeeping if you want the antenna uh, to be stored for a long time. I'm also going to put uh, marking tapes. So that you just need to put back the tuning stub in between those marking tapes. My feed line is an S. Uh, it's an RG8 coaxial cable attached to the nano uh, uh, antenna analyzer. It's not the nano VA. It's the N121 SA antenna analyzer. The end point of this RG8 coaxial cable is a PL259 connector connecting directly to the SO239 uh, feed, for, antenna, uh, feed point. So let's check the frequency response of this antenna after we check the full antenna configuration so make sure that you tighten the screws for the mounting bracket of the uh, feed point so now it's ready for uh, frequency response analysis let's go to my antenna analyzer connected to the N121SA so let's turn this on. So we have 430, the lowest frequency. But first, let's check the frequency carb. So as we can see here, we have 430 the lowest frequency and 440 the upper frequency the center frequency is 436 at 1.071 the lowest dip on the antenna analyzer so let's move our cursor going down to 435 we have 1.15 or 1.2 Port 3 for is 1.3 Port 3 2 uh, Port 3 3 is 1.4 Port 3 2 is 1.4 Port 3 1 is 1 1.3 and Port 3 0 is 1.2 We have uh, Less than 1.5 is to 1 uh, across the uh, 10 megahertz bandwidth for the VSWR of this antenna. Let's go up. 437 is 1.1. 1 .1. 438 is 1.2. 439 is 1.2. Uh, 
and 440 is 1.2 the lowest dip is on 436 which is our center frequency let's check the S11 carb or the antenna return loss it's 29.88 dB reactance is minus 2.5 ohms resistance is 48 ohms same with uh, impedance so let's check the individual frequency response from 430 we have 1.2 431 is 1.3 432 is 1.4 433 is 1.4 or 1.5 435 is 1.1 let's check that again 433 is 1.4 434 is 1.3 435 is 1.1 or 1.2 436 is 1.0 437 is 1.1 438 is 1.2 439 is 1.3 and 440 is 1.3 so this antenna is properly working and calibrated so I'm going to upload the antenna diagram on my website including the predicted antenna pattern uh, from Pornec 2 antenna modeling software and this video about the frequency response analysis using antenna analyzer so until next time, thank you for watching.